rest of these call it greens so we have a very deep green hue on these right here and these have a very light hue that will tell you something that you need to know these are older and these are younger all right so when you have a lighter color green it means your color greens are younger all right so we're going to come through here and we're just going to pick out the diseased ones because honestly they're ugly as heck mana see we're just coming through and we're picking these out so you need to make sure that your collard greens are in an area of low shade because collard greens are chill like you do right here and they don't like a lot of sunlight man so you just need to make sure you keep them in the shade and keep them hydrated because if you do you're gonna have some serious problems all right so i want to show you real quick and i want to flex on y'all because i have a very unique variety so here we have some regular young collard greens now, if you get close up to these, you'll notice, and I don't know if you can see it through that camera, um, you have some purple ridges on these collard greens. That's because these are not the same as these. These are purple and green, and these are just green. We call these lame but good because they stay the same. All right. So, quite literally, we just showed you how to clean out your collard green garden. Now, I want to take you over here around the garden. I want to show you something that I've been working on. All right. So right here, we have some young collard greens. Now, how do you know these are young? You see this right here? They're sprouting out like they're trying to reach out for Christ. So you see these right here? He's almost finished reaching out for Christ. And this one is just beginning his ascent to God. So when you collard greens do this, they're very young. And we have this right here. Now, if you thought this was a collard green, I have to question if you're sane or not, because this don't even look like a collard green. This is some type of unique cabbage. And I got, I, I had it in my house and I cooked it. And uh, I don't know what it is. I just grabbed it in the store. But uh, when it grows, it looks pretty nice. We have some mint right here. And this garden is just prospering. We have some celery growing. And rem I remind you, you don't need to be a bougie guy and get some seeds from the store. All you need to do is save the food that you've eaten on and make sure that you replant it because it's so easy. Now, I want to show you one more thing before we go. And it's going to be over here in this area with the younger collard greens. Now, when I get down low and you look right here, that means that I've picked on this collard green. So these ridges identify that I've pulled off pieces of this collard green and I've allowed it to grow taller. So when it's grown taller, that means that I've picked collard greens off of this. So yes, the collard greens on it are young, but the actual stem itself is older than your granny. All right, <laughs> now I wanna show you my last bit of collard greens, okay? So these are collard greens that are just in a war. You see how this thing is getting eaten up? These god darn grasshoppers are eating up my collard greens. So we're gonna handle those very shortly and swiftly. Now right here, we also have a very purple variety. Now you see this one? This one's actually starting to change into its purple form. It's evolving, it's ascending, all right? But the rest of these haven't quite made the mark yet. So we're gonna have to take this guy off. Although he's turning purple, he's also turning yellow. And we can't have you turning different colors like your mellow. So we're gonna remove him away from the pack. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, if you didn't learn anything today, I hope that you learned that collard greens are great, they're pretty, and they're green. All right, Chef Javen out now.